and welcome to a Linux gaming on display video. Uh, this is actually attempt number two, so there's going to be some weird bits for Farming Simulator 22. Yes, it's not the newest game on the planet, but it is one worth covering because I know it's still quite popular. Um, and it was the fifth or sixth game in the franchise. I think uh, I've got most of them. Let me just check. One, two, three. Yeah, the fifth one in the franchise. Started in 2013, like I'm sure most of the other people did. Uh, now, the last time I did play it is today. This is the second recording. The first recording, I forgot to turn the microphone on despite pre-game tests. So I know what does and doesn't work already. The normal kind of settings apply. No tweaks are required, but I do have a NVIDIA graphics card. So the first thing I'm doing is, the, is enabling the NVIDIA uh, API there from there, just in case any part of the system doesn't already activate that. And I'm already, and I'm also doing the Mango HUD just so we get some frame rates and uh, you know CPU performance compatibility. Uh, Proton tools. I'm using the Glorious Egg World Proton 748 that uh, came out this weekend, just gone, which makes it around the 28th, 29th of January 2023. So this game will launch basically. I'm going to show you now basically what I discovered. So the first thing we did the last time I loaded this was turn the graphics up to absolutely max. Everything max, maximum distance, maximum everything. And it was quite, it was fine in terms of graphically, but when you moved around, like you sort of moved 50 to 100 meters, it would load the next set of textures or the next bit of scenery in the distance. And it caused a little bit of a chug. I'm just gonna skip the intro uh, video here. So what we're gonna actually run with, I'm presuming it's kept the option, what is the high settings? I don't know why it says high custom, I didn't modify anything. High, let's just say high. In fact, I can't even apply it because it's no different. I don't know what, okay, whatever. Doesn't matter, V-Sync's turned off. I said frame rate number 144. We were reaching around 80, well, 75 to 80 frames per second. That seems fairly okay, you know, considering the fact that how we're running it basically, uh, my CPU as well. I mean, you see my CPU there. I do have an AMD Ryzen 3600 from the uh, from the 5 series, and yeah, it's not the great. It's a good bang per buck CPU, but it doesn't cope well under pressure. I'm, I'm, I'm running three monitors, multiple applications, like a lot of applications, including multimedia's and everything. So you know, Teams from Microsoft and stuff. So it's going to struggle a little bit. So it's not helping matters, but yeah, the frame rate is still more than accessible uh, for a game like this. So we'll just launch back into it with high. So the last time I actually played was December 2021. Um, I really liked the Farming Simulator series for a long time. From the first one, 2013 through to about 2021, I was just on it every week. Every week. Let's go, go, go. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just sort of fell out with it, I guess, a little bit. I think my main problem was, oh, I remember now, main problem was in Farm Simulator 2022, or 22 as it's called, everybody, and this, this is a bit like Euro Truck Simulator Convoy mode, every, nobody plays the game vanilla. Just nobody online. You're only gonna try and join the server, nobody's playing vanilla. They all wanna put fucking billions of mods on there, just, whatever the fuck they're doing, they want mods, 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 and you're not compatible with any game. And that kind of lost my interest because I'm very much a multiplayer type person with these type of games. This is the character I built last time. We're going to keep him. For some reason, I don't know. When did the escape button become the confirm button? Absolute insanity. Don't need a tutorial. Right, watch this. So initially, right, I'm going to start turning around. It's going to stutter like mad. Ugh, God, that's typical. Okay, lovely, great. So yeah, 100 frames per second there. That's wonderful. Let's run around a bit. Okay, we still seem to be doing good. Okay, let's get this harm combine harvester on the road. So at this point of the video, we're just under four, just over four minutes in. It does work on Linux. You can play this game on Linux. Uh, let me just get this hooked up to the uh, machine. I'll hire a worker here and get this underway. I'm to get out of it. I'll go and get myself in a tractor. I much prefer pulling the tractor trailer set up. Now just in case you're not familiar with Farm Simulator 2022, do be careful. Don't drive over the crops basically. There is crop damage in this version. You will damage your own crops if you drive over them. So attach the trailer. Smash and open the trailer up with the M key. And you know what? 
there was very little jitter on this one. They were, they were hitting 60 frames per second. I'm, I'm on a 1080p monitor. I've got three monitors, all 1080p, all 60 hertz. Um, we're hitting 65 now. Now, really interestingly, the jitter is gone. It was like every 50 meters or so. Previously, we were hitting a a little bit like there, a little bit of a, a little bit of a just a tiny, tiny, tiny little pause. There was another one, yeah. So we're hitting that quite a lot often before. And this is a bit better now on high. The ultra settings had that happening really frequently. It was really annoying. Where the distance was absolutely expanded, you could see trees far off on the horizon. It was just a lot, of, you know. Again, like that little jump there, a lot of little jumps like that were happening. It's still happening now. Yeah, this currency, but it does get better. If you stick in a particular area. It does get a better, it loads the area and then you, you have that area in your cache basically, it doesn't have to feel needs to do that. I don't know why it's so bad in this game with that. It's quite unusual. Flight simulator doesn't suffer that. Sim rail doesn't, train simulator, train sim world rather three doesn't, nor does train simulator for that matter. Well, we're gonna hook up to this uh well, this uh combine harvest has been driven by an AI player. I do recommend this game in multiplayer mode if you can get on. It's much more fun in multiplayer mode than your players. Real sense of camaraderie when you when you can get things going. But if I pull up alongside this chap with the uh, back end open, he should stick out his chute to dis to, to unload his ill-gotten gains. <coughs> Here we go. Not expecting an entire um, container full. Right, so I won't be following him down the next track because obviously I'll have to stick to the left of him, which would involve driving over the crops and damaging them. You don't want to damage your own crops the yields as good as possible. So basically this works anyway, fine. You can definitely do multiplayer. So good one high settings here. Getting over 60 frames per second comfortably. I haven't got V-Sync turned on. Um, effectively, that's it. Multiplayer does work. I better just, well, I'll try and join a multiplayer game, but honestly, um, there's so many mods out there. I doubt anybody's running a, uh, what's it called? A um, vanilla release. Uh, mods, mods, mods. Only install mods. Allow cross -place. No full games. Only install mods on. That's fun. Well, theoretically, okay, that was... Could try this one. Even though V-Sync's not turned on, it's funny how it slams it, you know, just uh, clearly that's locked at 60 frames per second there. Well, oh, just to piss me off. Well, it's not a good demonstration so far of connecting to a game. I'm going to presume that's a bad, bad connection. I'm trying to avoid. Oh, 
music stopped for this one. 20%, we've got a bit further. 21%, 22%, this is amazing. Okay, so we're basically in synchronizing data with other players. Should be able to prove multiplayer functionality in a second. Let's get to 100%. Here we go. Okay, yeah, that's great. Let's go for it. Still, escape is confirmed. I don't know how escape is confirmed. What's my name? Steam user. Let's change that. Linux gaming on display. Confirm. Okie dokie, so, ooh. I'm feeling the lag here, I'm feeling the lag. Oh, I've got a guy on top of me. Okay, this thing did. Okay, magical. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, okay, maybe, whoop, oh, yeah, we're kind of working now he's gone. Smashing. Follow oh, this guy, he knows what looks like. Oh, I thought he knew what he was doing, but he stopped. Can't get it, that's locked. You used to be able to tab around vehicles. No, no tab. Okay, that guy's okay. So, this is the problem. Somebody's locked all the vehicles here, so nobody else is really playing. It's Coca-Cola lorries. Doesn't say Coca-Cola lorries, but they clearly look like Coca-Cola lorries. Coca-Cola lorries. Coca-Cola trucks. Good old shop. Well, I think we just about proved it. We were in a place where there was somebody else. There were other players. Where's the player list? Mates. No, it's not my mates. Smashing. Good stuff. End of video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.